And we're back. It's been a, a quick minute since I last played this. Like a day, two, close. Something like that. We're gonna take on this last trainer and then head into the evil place that is known as Rock Tunnel. I swear there's something I need to talk about that I forgot. Uh, I'm drawing a blank, so. We're gonna head to Rock Tunnel, which is a long and boring dungeon filled with sadness and experience, I guess. Ah, uh, we'll stick with Dogtrio. We will stick with you. I'm forgetting something. Blew it again. That. Who fought you before? Pokemaniacs. Um, this should say Rock Tunnel. Uh, by the way, we have to do this. Um, down there is the power plant. We'll be seeing that later. Just point that out. Um, is there an item here? I remember there being something. Yeah. Pretty good at that. All right. Well, Monday, might as well do it, right? Okay, 100%, I'm not gonna go insane. I'm already gonna go insane from this. I don't need that to help. Oh, encounters! That, I was just about to think Route 10 we passed, it was right above the Pokemon Center. And it's also part of the power plant outside of it. There's one new encounter you could find there, and that be Voltorb. And for, it is, it will evolve into Electric, which everyone knows, or now you know, is the fastest Pokemon in generation one and two slowly being later but it 100 i could recommend you pick up a jolteon because for losing 10 speed points you get 30 special in this game and it also does not learn electric move by level up in this game from what i remember i and also, it has a problem of being that, oh, this explodes Pokemon, self-destruct, explosion, stuff like that. Kind of like Coffee and Weezing have, or uh, Golem. But, it has a miserable attack score. <sighs> and they give it Gyro Ball later, which depends on how slow you are, so why the hell does it have it? But... That's enough about Electrode. <laughs> For being so... I guess I could mention it did get a stat increase in Sun and Moon. So there you go. Congratulations. You got 10 more speed, which is not what I needed at all. I'm 100% if it had a Mega Form. I'm pretty sure they would put all 100 points into speed. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm pretty sure they want that thing to be fast and that's it. But, taking on Rock Tunnel now. Get R Route Tunnel. Route Tom? What was I going to say there? And eh, we'll leave you out. Uh, we're in Rock Tunnel. There are two new encounters we haven't seen before. We're probably going to see them. Ah, did I see any of them yet? Anyway. There's a Pokemon we've seen before a couple times. Actually, both of them we've done. But Onyx we saw at Brock's gym. At that time, it was a scary powerhouse that could take on all of our attacks, pretty much. It was quite scary, actually. Except I killed it once, one hit. But, it, it's scary for some players. It's the first big boss, I guess. It's not really that hard. But, here... I can't recommend it. 
it needs it doesn't get earthquake by level up so there, go, there goes a bonus that golem had over it which we've seen geodude in mount moon for a long time Right now you probably have a Graveler slash Golem if you've been training one. But Onyx just doesn't bring enough to the table. It needs both Rock Slide, which is a TM, and Earthquake from a TM to be manageable and acceptable. And it has speed over it, but its attack score is so bad for a ground rock type or rock ground type. It's really bad. Its defense is alright, but its HP doesn't really match that. This is a Charmander. But I can't recommend picking up Onyx, honestly. It's. I would say it's probably next to Electrode as a big failure in this generation. Wait until we get to Steelix. <laughs> but. Uh, the other encounter is something we saw a couple times, some on the SSN, some on Route 25, from what I remember, and that's Machop. I keep wanting to say Machop. But here it is, lucky us. Um, it evolves into Machoke, and it evolves into Machamp with the trade evolution. So... It has a high attack score. It's a little slow. And I could almost recommend it if it had a different type. Later, it becomes a powerhouse. It has no guard. It's just... It's great. I... But now... Okay. Just to put into perspective how useless the fighting type is. The only non-recoil, non-fixed damage move in the game for the fighting type that Machop can learn, that's nice actually, but that Machop can learn and Machoke and Machamp is low kick. Which I say non-fixed damage because it works differently. Uh, actually, I know teleport seems useless, but it's better than fucking disable garbage but um what was i talking about oh yeah low kick which in this game works differently i'll explain after i'm done with the champ but low kick's the best it does get karate chop but it's normal type if that had been fighting it could have seen some play that's great that i just Dodged uh, explosion. My duck trio just left the fucking battle and called it a day. Over when that happened, but and I guess I'll mention the shitty type that is fighting. The low kick was all right, fifty power. 90 accuracy and if you got that early enough it did some damage to anyone that wasn't Zubat but you don't get a fighting type in this game that early you don't I'm just gonna dig like Karate Chop and if I haven't mentioned I think I have before but that had a high critical hit rate so there's that. Um, but unlike later where low kick is based off weight if you're, what is it, like 22 pounds or less, you're sitting at 20 power and then, I can't believe I'm not going to remember these numbers. I think I would know these. Wild battle before a trainer battle. That's great. All I remember is that if you're over 440 point 
I think it's nine pounds. It's 120 damage, and that's all you really need to remember for low kick. Same. But here it doesn't work that way. It works 50 power, 90 accuracy, with what was it? 30% chance to flinch, which is good, but the next move to have, the move that every fighting type can get, is Submission. 80 power. I don't even remember the accuracy, I never fucking used it. Recoil on top of that. How does an 80 power move... Fucking recoil. I'm just gonna switch to that. <sighs> but I think that's about all the rants I have for this Pokemon. It might have gone longer than some of the other ones because I'm in Rock Tunnel and I need it to last a little bit, but That's just what's going on. Defeated Hiker. Duh! You win. Fantastic. You know, I'm not usually one to skip battles, as you can see. But sometimes there's a point where you just have to go, okay, this is a terrible place. Today's not that day, though. I refuse to grind, and I refuse to skip this battle. Fuck that. And what's actually amazing is we're not done with this, and we're almost out of time. Which is great in regards to the fact that I don't have to find something else to talk about to fill this. But... Otherwise, it's just kind of. God damn it. I have to do another part of this tomorrow. Alright. But. I'm gonna do that. I guess I'll talk about. What I'm gonna do once I hit Lavender Town. Most people. Keeple? Did I say keeple or people? What am I doing? Which way is out? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Lavender Town. Some people seem to like to skip here to uh, Shitty Onyx. But. Skip Lavender Tower because they can't finish it. But I'm gonna be taking it on right away because it's good experience for Doug Trio and yeah and also there's a rival battle there so oh my god I just want to get to a different screen that's all I want let me go that's a trainer up there so Zubat, did I say you could be here? Get the hell out of here. You're garbage. Oh, so you bite me? That... Screw you. Die. Okay. I'm gonna stop here. Before a wild battle and capture me. Next time we'll be taking on the rest of this crappy area and hopefully getting to Pokemon Tower and freeing some people from possession. See you guys then.